All right, everybody, in this video, we have a 2010 F-150. Now, this is my personal vehicle. Now, as you can tell, the uh, odometer reads 296,331 kilometers. Now, this is the original mileage on this engine that I'm aware of. Um, and I just finished doing a timing chain set with phasers and chains and guides and tensioners and everything. And there's still a tiny little noise inside of the engine um, that I'm not really too worried about, but it's enough just to bother me. So, I went online and I ordered myself a tube of Tribotex. Now, this is supposed to be a reverse engine wear. Now, you have to be very, very careful uh, when they say reverse engine wear, okay? If I'm not mistaken, they were at like 16 thousandths of an inch uh, scoring that this could repair. Now, it's not going to repair a huge scoring into an engine, um, but if it's at least up to 16 thousandths of an inch, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it was. I'll put the, the link to that information in the video, but it's supposed to be able to repair the scoring on that part. So what this is supposed to do is fill in the gaps that basically your engine gets from normal engine wear. Now, excessive engine wear, it's for sure that this probably won't do anything, but at the same time, you never know. Um, I thought I'd give it a try. This, this little tube right here is not cheap. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. All right, it uh, it was $140 for this little tube. Now, this little tube right here is supposed to be able to treat up to eight liters of oil. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you guys the noise that the engine is making. It is, like I said, it's not extreme, but I thought I'd just give this a try because like I said, there is 296,000 kilometers onto this. So when I have, really don't have much to lose. So they do have a little pamphlet here that tells you what to uh, what to do so they want you to warm up your uh, vehicle for at least 30 minutes uh, they want you to take and see how your engine is vibrating and uh, what types of noises that it's making and then after that the typical ex expected results is reduce of engine noise from bearings and valve train uh, often uh, dramatic, slight improvement in torque and in acceleration, some improvement in fuel consumption, and dramatic improvement in longevity, okay? Not designed to be helped for overheating, heavy oil uh, leaks from gaskets, and dirty or sludge up an engine, all right? So anything that has to do with that, it's not gonna help you out. Um, so if you do have those issues, I would suggest that you take care of that first before you actually try this. Uh, if after you do all that, then go ahead, try this and see how it works. So let's go listen to the engine. Then I'm going to turn it off. It is nighttime. Sorry. I just got home and it just got delivered. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you guys this. Okay. Ah, let's pop the hood. Oh, is the hood up? No, it's not. Wrong area. There we go. Turn off the AC. There we go. So as you can tell, it's not horrible for 300,000 kilometers, all right? Sounds like a normal valve kicking to me, but I just want to try this just to see if it'll actually work. It's, you guys dump this whole tube straight into the oil, and I'm going to go turn this off, and now we're going to see if it does anything. I actually do this live so you guys can actually see me do it. Okay, let's go ahead, turn all this off. Oh, I just dropped it. Ooh, $140 down the drain. Ugh. All right. So let's get in here. Let's open up the oil. I just came back from having supper with my family, so the engine's nice and hot. It's about a 45 minute drive. So basically you just open it up, you unscrew a little cap, and then you come over to where your oil hole is, if I find it, I don't wanna drop this anywhere else except for in the dipstick, okay? And I'm just gonna press and put all this nice fluid into it, okay? Hopefully that's in the hole, yeah, it's in the hole, all right? So there's $140 gone in three seconds. So let's go put the cap back on, start this up and see how this actually sounds after you put it in now they say up to 500 miles so about a thousand kilometers okay so 
this is just a family vehicle so i don't know how often i'm actually uh, i don't know how long it's actually going to take me to get there but all right let's let this go Yeah. I'll let that circulate for a little bit. Eh, not much of a difference in the sound right now. So uh, I will update this video for sure. I just wanted to make a quick one just to show you guys this. And hopefully um, it'll help somebody out if it actually does work. So that's it for right now. Stay tuned for an update in a thousand kilometers.